Now, let's talk about money for a moment. Let me hear everybody say money. money. Oh boy, I'm in the right place. <laughs> I see there's no money rejection complex around here. You know, I can tell sometimes when I tell people to say money that some people are having problems even saying it. There are, there are, there are about 25 people here who, could, who couldn't quite get it out of their mouths this time. We're going to say it again so that I can catch them and exercise the anti-money demons. <laughs> I mean, everybody say money. Money! You faked it that time, didn't you? <laughs> but like the lady says, fake it till you make it. <laughs> Since I'm talking about money, I'd like to give just a little definition of it. And there's something about that in Reverend Ike's study guide, page 81. What page? 81. Boy, I'm telling you, it's a bright group tonight. <laughs> and it is called, What is Your Financial Psychology? But first, I would like to give my definition. M maybe uh, I could get Terry Hudson to write this on the board over there for your benefit in case you miss it, but you shouldn't miss it anyway. To me, this is my definition for money, and I have many, and I'll probably throw out many of them during the course of the seminar. Basically, money is the energy of the mind. Say that with me. Basically, money is the energy of the mind. And that nice green stuff is really only a symbol of the energy of the mind, the way you use the energy of your mind. Now, I'm going to be talking about money off and on this first hour and the last, the second hour. But there's something about money that I want to tell you that I'm not going to tell you till the second hour after you buy your book. <laughs> Seriously, I want to tell you something never to say about money again. And I'm going to, don't write that on the board yet. And I'm going to remind me to tell you that when we come back, right after the break. But on page 81, what is your financial psychology? There are a couple of passages here that I'd like to share with you. Everything is a condition of the mind. The idea comes first, and then the manifestation of that idea. You can't be, do, or have anything until you first have the idea of it in your mind. That's why in dealing with this idea of recession, this idea of going backward, being less, doing less, and having less, that's why to begin with we threw that out of our minds. We disassociated ourselves with it mentally. And the last passage on this that I'll have time to read at this moment. I have discovered some very interesting psychological reasons why people have money problems. Anybody here have ever had money problems? Not anymore. The way you <laughs> got quiet that time. I guess sometimes they do have money problems. <laughs> your problems with money or your abundance of money for that matter begin with what I call your financial psychology, which is your attitude toward money. And we're going to be working on this. And in the next session, what I would like to do is entertain some questions and I would like to help those of you who are still having a problem with what I call the money rejection complex to get rid of that so that money can come to you in a more abundant manner. We're going to do some work on that right now, so I'm going to ask you to stand up again. That's so you don't go to sleep on me. Not that you would dare. I just may do that if it gets any hotter here, but they're videotaping this and I want to look cute. <laughs> now, I want you to ask yourself this question in the first person with your body language as well as with your voices and say, what is my financial psychology? Come on. You know, you really need to write these questions down. So sit down and begin to write. 
But there's another question I want you to write. Don't worry, I'll let you stand up again. The second question is, what do I think and feel about money? We're going to break that question down even further. Do I think and feel that it's wrong to have money? How much money is too much for me to have? Greedy. It's good for you to answer these questions and settle them in your mind. Because in your mind you have to come to peace with money. Now, you've heard me use several times already the term money rejection complex. That indicates attitudes which actually kick money away from people. All day long people think and say things that actually keep money away from them. Because again, I define money as a psychic vibration. And negative attitudes, negative feelings about money will actually kick it away from you. 